Hello and welcome back to the Quest for Ching series in EU4 Mandate of Heaven, where we are once again at war with Ming, who is falling apart at the seams. So it shouldn't be too tough of a war, but I think this will be his last chance to put up a fight. Not really that good of a chance, but, you know, don't tell him that. He is losing to shun separatists and G separatists. We are not going to do that. We are building up colonialism in Laizhou. Wow, that was a quick siege. Slowly. But we are doing it. And let's uh let's go to Fuzhou. Unfortunately we do not have the uh cavalry ratio from the idea that we took from the reward that we took. I still don't know what to call those. And let's go up to... No, 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 you're the one without the army, uh, without the general, so let's go to Canton with you. Actually, if there's no one here... Okay, there's some Ming army. Yeah, let's go get Canton. So tempted. But we're not going to do that. And Buryat is sieging down a fort for us. Nice. Okay, he is attacking the army with a general. Nice of him. Let's go and uh, support. Oh, we're going to lose this fight because it is the hills. Okay, let's uh, let's retreat here. We cannot yet. Let's uh, let's not go there. Okay, we cheat to Canton. Go to, uh... <laughs> Hello, Ming. Hello, you stinky Ming. Why don't you go siege down Nanjing, Ming? I love that meme. White Chow is sieged. Military power or prestige, we'll lose the prestige. Briat's continuing to siege down stuff. Orat is sieging Ming, good. They're losing to Oyrat, that's funny. Oh, and uh, we won a fight, okay, cool. 49,000 men, okay. Let's uh, drop a siege, actually let's drop a one stack with everybody else go and defend in Wai Chao. It is the farmlands. We won the fight. Good. Okay, with everybody else. Let's go and uh, go to Canton. Meanwhile, while he's fighting us, the uh, G Separatists are doing well. We are losing a bunch of money to reinforcements. But we will get a bunch of money from this. So let's take a... Let's, let's not take this pro these provinces. We will want to take Detong though. But let's, uh, hmm. let's see if we can take as much money as possible as well. It's on the minimum uh, giving us list. Okay, we are going to have to deal with this pretty soon. As soon as we get Canton. Do you have any Siege Brock? No, we do not have a Siege tip, Pip. Okay, let's, uh, let's go and, with our General Stack army, go and deal with this 16,000 stack, and hopefully he will not want to join us, join his, uh, defend his army. Okay, Canton is sieged. Let's quickly retreat, and hopefully he will not take this. Oh, come on. Dang it. You, you will ask, and you will not receive. Turns out, that's how the saying goes. Can 
we just like assault? No, because we don't have a stupid wall breach. We could easily take it though, if we did get wall breach. Okay, land leader shock. Nice, we'll take it. Can't didn't come on, how did he get that so quick? What? That's ridiculous. It's not fair. I'm calling that one unfair, Ming. Okay, we'll take the trade range and trade efficiency. Our helpful vassal is sieging down Wu Chang. The levy. We will uh piss off the nobility a little bit. Let's go to nobility, call it diet. Appease them a little bit. Pretend like they have any say in things. Looks like he's coming. Nope, he's just stopping to siege. I mean, pretender rebels. Or at separatists. Or at separatists. And G separatists. Good, good. And the pretender rebels are the ones that he goes for. Sure. Merchant effects, we will take the mercantilism. Yeah. That was so annoying. I can't believe that he got both those sieges so fast. He must have assaulted. He must have. I mean, there's no other way that he could... I don't know. Yang Zhao was sieged, good. Let's go to Haifei. Okay, Burat is helpfully uh, carpet sieging. Min the separatists are down there. Let's not do, uh, screw around with them. Let's see. Jian is getting sieged by. Wait, no, it's not being sieged. So we might want to go there. We already have Wu Chang. Good job, Burat. Let's go deal with this army. We do want to see these Chinese states split off. It would be very helpful for us. In the past, you'd actually not want that because then China would be stronger as the Ming used to have a 50% autonomy floor. But uh, now it's there's no reason not to. Okay, or at Separatists took over the fort. That's unfortunate. <laughs> unfortunate. Pun meant. No, it wasn't actually meant. But anyway. Alright. Not that clever. Will you give us the mandate and money? No, you will not. And also we want Ming Mid. We want the month mandate and uh let's take Yeah, I think we're gonna take the state. Let's give it to that fort. Fort in the mountains. 90% war score. I don't know if we're ever going to get that. Maybe we'll just take the fort. Yeah. You go to Xi'an. Lots of rebels. Shun separatists as well. Actually, they will come up to us in GN. Let's just fight his army instead of sieging. Burat is doing plenty. Good job sieging. What did happen to those Min Separatists? Or did Burat kill them? That'd be funny. Okay. Box them in. And attack. Nope. Come on. Get him. There we go. Nice. See John hangs out. We could get a Mintech, but I think we're going to need Coring. There'll be R behind on admin. Yeah, we have Unbalanced Research right now, which is unfortunate. Ningguo.
Spirit, you are the greatest vassal ever. You've uh, taken Canton. Good job. Good job, good sir. Let's go to Fujao if Min Separatists are no longer there. They are no longer there. Nice. You. Hmm. Yes, we will pay for the general. Six shock. Very nice. You will go and deal with its army in Wucheng. At least scare him off. Good. We have Mongol separatists. Unfortunate. Actually, what other rebel factions do we have? Korchin and Liang. Alright. No, not our vassal. He's helped so much. Nice. Good job, Briat. Let's, uh, let's see what he'll give us now. Where are you going? You're going north. Traveling Minstrel, we will take the stability, of course. Free admin points, basically. Unfortunately, these Mongol Separatists are going to take and Korchin Separatists. Are going to siege down our land. Let's kill off these men and then we will go and deal with those rebellions. Very good. Well, the Mongol separatists have decided to go to uh, south. Nice. A big stack, at least. Mink Kree, are you still a... No, you're not. No longer a protectorate, or whatever, tributary. Twenty-eight thousand Mongol separatists. Dang, dude. Come on, Dick Fuzhou. Dang it. And let's uh, let's go and siege back these cores. Okay, Fuzhou is taken. Japan has insulted us. Not cool, Japan. Why don't you just deal with these guys? It's an ugly border right there. Uh, and let's see what we can take now. So let's see if we take... Yes, we could take that. Uh, yeah, we'll just take Yang Zhao. I don't think he'd give us anything more. Oh, he'd give us Datong and Yang Zhao. Yeah, that's totally what we're taking. Take those... Uh. uh Maybe instead we could just take the state. No, let's just take Datong and Yang Zhao. Yeah. The reason I want Yang Zhao is that it will be another one that will get a colonialism pretty quick from being near Lei Zhao. So let's do it. And all the money we can take. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're not going to take Yang Zhao. We're just going to take Datong. Or we're not even going to take Datong. Yeah. We won't take any land in this war. But we will take a... It is 50% cost, though. But we need the money. How many loans do we have now? Four? Yeah, let's just pay back all the loans. We'll take the money, and we will take the mandate. Cool. Let's do it. Qing of China! I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's popped up right here in the corner. We have the achievement. I don't know why we didn't get the achievement last time. Oh, because we didn't get the Mandate of Heaven from it. We just became Qing. We got the Manchurian Candidate last time. Okay. So let's see. We can enact a decree. Our meritocracy is at 50, but we want to increase that. Let's pay back our loans. Debt-free for once and forever. Uh, 
What else can we do? We can core the land that we were waiting on, because we're not actually going to take any from Ming. Very nice. Let's see, what else can we do? Boy session is going to go down. We don't want to enact a decree. What's our... How's our mandate doing? Non-tributaries near us. So we definitely need to uh, make everybody tributaries. But the problem is that it's going to be Ming, pretty much. And we just want to conquer Korea. Let's just uh, fabricate a claim on Korea. We'll go to war with them. Alright, so our mandate's not going to do well, unfortunate. Fortunately. Integrating Briatia. Well, that'll help a bit. Okay. Unified China Kong spelling against Oirat. Alright. What do they have that's... What do they have that's in China, technically? No, they don't have that. Hmm. Anyway. Oh well. So we are gonna have to figure out okay, so let's what are we gonna do about the mandate? I'm trying to figure it think about it. Um Oh, and we have an extra eleven thousand up there. Which is too many troops. By like hat one troop, I think. Yeah, no, we wanna keep these. So split in half. Because we'll go there, and then you will join the armies. Killing off Long Na, cool. I really want to get rid of these uh, Mongol separatists, but so let's, uh, let's go and I'd like to just kill them, if possible. History of the Ming Empire. Empress, your reign has ushered in a new era as the and the Hata completes their takeover of China will undoubtedly prosper for many years to come. Perhaps the time has come to look back to the Qing Empire and start the compilation of our history, compiling a the fortunes interesting English there of China during their entire reign will cost a fair bit of money and makes and take many bureaucrats quite some time. But the benefits might outweigh the costs. Time is of the essence, or if there were work for a solid rule. Lose five meritocracy. Lose 203 ducats. Go into debt again, but we get mandate. Yeah, it's totally worth it. We need that mandate. Oh, and we need to hire some advisors. Do we have advisors? We do not. Let's get a trade efficiency. And maintenance. Let's see, what what does this even give us? Bonuses from high mandate, which is National Unrest and Stability Cost Modifier, okay. Uses meritocracy command uh mandate mechanics, can enact centralism decisions. Permanent claims to China, cost us belly to unite China, and can enforce tributary on neighbors. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but like, what do we do? Like, for instance, I'm trying to figure out, like, uh... Do we get, like, advisor cost, or is that just a Ming thing? No? So how do they get their advisor costs so far down? Hmm. I don't know, but we'd like to be able to hire level 3 advisors. It'd be very nice for our Monarch Point generation. Let's go to Seoul. Oh, and you two. One is going to go all the way down, and one is going to go to Seoul. And we are going to conquer Korea. Are you animist or are you Shinto? Ryukyu. Animist. Mongol separatists have crossed our borders, of course. 
and more of them. Why don't you deal with them, Ming? I don't want to deal with them. Internal conflicts. The fall of Ming. Ming has fallen, and the Hata dynasty is now believed to be the whole new holders of the Mandate of Heaven. We are expected to pick up the mantle of the Emperor and bring the Chinese people into a new era of prosperity and stability. If we want to win over the remaining supporters of the Ming rule, we must start to build our own imperial bureaucracy and invest in a strong and durable state. On the other hand, Exile the first worries that disloyal officials will remain within our organization to we inherit from her predecessors. We must be merciful, merciful if we are to build something lasting. We lose a bunch of money, lose a bunch of power, but gain meritocracy and mandate. Purge any remaining loyalists, gain stability. We lose a bunch of mandate, but gain money. No, definitely not that. Uh, we'll lose the money and monarch points. Speaking of monarch points, we need to start upping our uh, getting colonialism. Okay, who demands provinces? The Kinwangs. Oh, all of our uh, all of our states and our cool names. Alright, so let's go and find something that we can give them. So the nobility, pretty much. We are making money at full maintenance, nice. Corjan separatists, okay. How close are we? We're like four more clicks away. National tax modifier or ducats. We will take the just base ducats. Is our mandate improving? No, it's not, but we're getting all these good events. Devastation is not giving us any. Stability is increasing it by a little bit, but the non tributaries is really hurting. So we will need to just like conquer the. Instead of, instead of like the last one where we uh, slowly make everybody tributaries, we're going to just conquer everybody around us. Okay, the Mongol separatists are continuing to be a menace. Dali separatists are continuing to make Dali a stronger state. Not very strong right now. A bunch of low development provinces. Urbanization, we will... Uh... Crap. Yeah, we'll lose some money. Take another loan. It's definitely not worth it, but it have to do it because otherwise we'll get the uh, huge penalties. Stupid Mongols. And let's go to war with uh, Korea. Let's see, we can fabricate on the, the this province. Theme. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And go to war. We could force. We could just make them a tributary. And uh, we bought Korea though. Yeah, let's just attack them. Conquest. You're mine now. Probably break off siege and still fight them. Kahar. Okay. You boys are gonna go deal with that. Then go to Beijing. Dang it. Then to Beijing. You guys are gonna uh, take them on. And Hamyang. And we will sit in uh, this province. Ooh. Okay, we took down the uh, separatists. Good, good. Uh, 
For a second there, I thought that we killed off the Mongol Separatists, and I was all happy about that. Okay, they are coming up. Let's uh, let's just deal with them once and for all. Why can we go through the Ming? Weird. Shoe Separatists are gonna totally gonna break off. Let's just deal with them. They're in the steps now. No longer in the uh, whatever it's called, the uh, mountains. So. Preparing for the seasonal flooding of the Yellow River is one of the oldest and most important duties of the state of, in northern China. Our officials have identified an area that has suffered particularly during, particularly during the last few years. It would blossom if we could only stop the water from threatening the livelihood of the locals. Lose a bunch of money. Uh, gain 75 prosperity in the state of Shandong and two base, tax, two base production in Jinan. Sure. Where's Jinan? Jinan, Jinan, okay. All right, we'll take the base tax. <laughs> Let's go and siege back the provinces that he's taking. He's scared of my army, even with uh, even with only twelve thousand of them. We will continue to dance around with them, and uh, you guys split in half. You guys go there. You guys go to Beijing. Losing two ducats a month. Chicago, clean fabricated, okay. We've almost taken a uh, Yanju. Go back, take a hot. We have obscuritism, lose the prestige. Is this a level 2 fort? Yeah, it is. Jeez. It's starting to get tougher. We're gonna have to build some cannons soon. For now, it's at like Military Tech 9. It's not really that useful cannons at the moment. But uh, let's go up and siege back this land. Alright. We can once again unify the armies. Naiju. And now we will be able to fight them on equal footing. And we took Gyeongju. You will just siege back the rest of the land. Go siege the war goal. And we want everything, Korea. Let's go in to Alu. Okay, you will go to Hamung, Hamyang. And there we go. Let's see, Korea, how much will you give us? We couldn't even take the whole thing. Alright, we're gonna take... Yeah, let's take the uh, east side. And those two. And a bunch of money. Nope, okay, we're gonna... Tile back on that. Okay. That is totally what we'll take. Nice. Hmm. 
we'll lower the cost of the mandate that we're losing because of the uh, because of having a stronger vassal next to us, a stronger non-tributary state next to us. Fortunately, it doesn't mean that they will never accept a tributary state. In fact, let's be start doing stuff with our uh, diplomats. Let's go to Oirat. Oh, we also have these guys on our border. Ooh, okay. Oirat, would you want to become a tributary? Yes, you would. And Yarkand, you are not going to become a tributary. Okay. Ming would definitely not want to become a tributary. Japan? No. Um, anyone else dive yet? Pegu? No. Okay. Proclaim guarantee. Why can we not make you a tributary? Weird. Alright. Let's have you guys group up. And we can pay back some loans. One loan. Have you guys group up Beijing? And I think we're doing pretty well. We have conquered all of uh, Western Korea. We are consolidating. We're going to go to war with Ming soon. In 40, so in 9 years. Soon, I say. And let's see, can we get colonialism here now? Uh, let's go to here. Nice. And we have colonialism, so that will spread pretty quick to all of our other provinces, like Beijing. Especially to Beijing. And uh, all these ones. Nice. So once we have that, we'll be able to get by colonialism. And yeah, things are going pretty pretty swell. So, if you guys liked the video, please like and uh, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye.